In the shadow? Yeah, how do you in space? That's a great question. Well, first, you know, um, in the space shuttle or in the space station, we work really hard. And at the end of the day, we're tired and we want to sleep. So how do you sleep? Well, if you just close your eyes, you can fall asleep, but then what happens? You float away and you can like, <laughs> You can run into a ventilation duct or you bump somebody's really important science experiment. So it's better to sleep not floating around. Although I did I did fall asleep after one spacewalk. At the end of the day, we were sitting around the table drinking some tea and I just fell asleep and I started floating away and my crewmates laughed. It was funny. And I was just tired. So we don't, uh, so don't want to do that. So they give us our own sleep quarters, like a little, um, a little room that we can sleep in. But even so, we don't want to just float around in there. So we actually have a sleeping bag. We climb into the sleeping bag, but the sleeping bag is tied to the wall. So we actually sleep standing up in space. And it's really comfortable because you're actually sleeping on air. You're just floating. And uh, so we just close our eyes and, and our arms can float around. So I would sometimes sleep like this or sleep like this. And you just close your eyes and once your eyes are closed, you can't tell if you're lying down or standing up or upside down or anything. And with the lights out after a hard day of work, it was great rest. Next question, please. How did you feel when you were looking down on Earth? Oh my goodness, thank you for asking that question. That's an awesome question. Uh, we're aboard the International Space Station, up there for six months. We don't have the internet, we don't have TV. So what do we do? We look down at our beautiful planet. We have these huge windows, and they look right down. And we go around the Earth, we're going 17,500 miles an hour, that's about 28,000 kilometers per hour. That's pretty fast. Um, um, my my eight-year-old son, he wants to um, be a race car driver, right? That's pretty good, you know, it's okay, son, if that's what you want to do, follow your dreams, but you know, you're only going 300 miles an hour. <laughs> that's kind of slow, us astronauts. <laughs> we go 17,500 miles an hour, and that's just, that's just going to, to around planet Earth. We could actually go higher to the moon and things like that. Like Buzz Aldrin, when he came back, he was going like 24,000 miles an hour. That's even faster than, 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 than we did. So those, so there's there's an element of speed. Okay, so we go around the planet. We're that fast. We go around the planet every 90 minutes, an hour and a half. We go from you know we, we go around the entire world. Now I've been on some long plane flights. I just was in India a few weeks ago, and it took us. Uh, you know, 14 hours to go from Delhi to, to, New, to New York, which is really amazing. It used to take weeks on a, on a boat to do it, so we were glad to, glad to do it so soon. But still, it used to take me half that time, about 40 minutes on the space station. It's just that fast. So we can see the whole planet. So as we look out the window, we can see everything. Uh, we can see rivers, we can see cities, we can see the nighttime of the planet, you can see where there's electric lights, um, on the cities and it's beautiful, like little gems glistening. On the daylight, you can see amazing things like the Amazon River. We can see, um, let's see, I can see the pyramids of Egypt. That was really amazing. We can see the glaciers uh, in the Andes Mountains in South America. My eyes have seen so many things. www.nasa.gov shows some of these pictures. I mean, that you can see, we, our crew took 25,000 photos. Each crew takes about that many, just because we want to share them with you. So uh, it's really, really amazing what we can see. So I, I, I urge you to take a look at what some of these, these photos are because they're from the human perspective. They're not a satellite just you know, automatically taking photos. It's something our eyes can see that's really interesting. So we look at planet Earth and it's absolutely beautiful. Next question, 